Yeah. So if I ever win an Oscar, I'll say I dedicate this to my great gay friend, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like it for two reasons. One, because I, I found in my life that, that it's not a disadvantage with, 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 well, with women when I was pursuing them. Um, I, yeah, I wasn't... All, I, I wouldn't... In high school, people did, there, some people did think I was gay. And I found that worked, worked out well for me. Uh, uh, it created kind of a false air of mystery that some chicks got into. Huh. Um, also, it made you safer. So until until your until your your penis right. had actually crossed the threshold, they weren't right, sure. Right, right, right. Um, and uh, yeah, so I wouldn't mind that. But we're not talking S H I T on Christmas, Wash Dragon. Oh, the reason oh. we're not out trying to get laid is that we're or both more interested in Torah, <laughs> Torah. Than, than in sex. And for me, now Luke is probably not as big a fan of Jesus as I am. But but uh, yeah, for me, you know. All right, Jesus. Like uh, uh, I said on my on my on my Facebook status that I'm I'm 206 pounds and pretty for Jesus today. Um, Welsh Dragon says I'm stuck at work or I'd be out there chasing the pickle. <laughs> chasing the pickle. Pickle. That sounds gay. Yeah, that is sounds, that gay? Is that gay? Sounds really. It's okay gay. if it is, but like it's all right. Like be who you uh, are. Yeah. Yeah. If there's nothing wrong with the pick. I mean, yeah, there's nothing I mean, wrong I with mean, it. I won't go, Except know. from a Torah perspective, and, you should and be from, put to death. Yeah, and, yeah, and I have kind of a, a viscerally negative response to it. But, but I'm it pretending kind not of to. It totally grosses us out, <laughs> but that's not socially acceptable to well, say, so we right. have to pretend that we think that you're a, like a decent human being, but really we just want to vomit right now. Well, pickle also is not. If a guy. I think Chasing was, the pickle. If a guy is into guys, at least, like. I think the way he d d describes his desire a little more appetizing. Than yeah, than the pickle. pickle. That just, that sounds that sounds kind of gross. So the Torah portion this week is Macate's. Yes, and let me turn to it. Um, which is Genesis forty-one to Genesis chapter forty-four, verse seventeen. And Jews in the diaspora usually read it in the tenth Sabbath after Simchat Torah. It's read on the Sabbath of Hanukkah, and uh, there will be three Torah scrolls this this Shabbat one. Torah scroll for Hanukkah, one Torah scroll for Rosh Chodesh, the new year, and uh, for, uh, the new the new month, uh, not the new year, and then one Torah scroll for the the weekly Pasha. Wait, wait, what? There's three. There's so there's. Th They're gonna it's, uh, three Torah scroll shelves. I'm gonna bring out three Torah scrolls to read wow. from on shelves. <laughs> wow, it's like it's like a hat trick, but Jewish. Yeah. Huh, I didn't. Even, I never even occurred to me. So you use a separate Torah scroll for each. Yeah. Reading. Cool. But not not many synagogues can pull that off. Three Torah three three Torah scrolls cost a lot of money. I mean, a lot of them only have one, right? Uh, most synagogues have have at least three. God, synagogues are loaded. That's expensive. Yeah, they, like twenty thousand bucks each. Yeah, twenty to fifty thousand bucks Jeez, each. Good Good Lord. One of the things that makes Torah talk so exciting is that is that for Joey most of this is virgin territory, <laughs> and it's like it's such a thrill to be able to share something that for the first time with, yeah. with somebody. It's like uh, it's it is new. Sorry. Uh, could you talk about Easter. these socks? Oh yeah. Speaking yeah. of gay friendly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. These are gay friendly socks. <laughs> they can make yeah. sure you can see yeah. those. I. I they are very they're they're I like the the kind of beige-ish. I'm becoming a little more interested again in in my clothes and pulling out things I haven't worn in a long time. They're kind of beige-ish, but they've got lot, they're very sparkly and little patterns. And then up at the top here, they have kind of a camel ring. I don't know. It's camel it, toe. Uh, no, not as appetizing as that, but still pretty good. And I think you know, like I said, I wanted to be pretty for Jesus today. Now, Welsh Dragon says that chasing the pickle is not gay where he's from. And he accuses us of sitting arm in arm on the Lord's Big Day. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I guess it's kind of like uh, in the movie uh, Brokeback Mountain, where the two guys say to each other, I'm not a, I'm not a fag or anything. Right. <laughs> just right, right. cornholing the other. <laughs> right. And yeah. it might be just after cornholing the other. And that they, they just want to reaffirm that that's not what it looked like. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and uh, <laughs> I remember when their boss talk to them, wouldn't oh. rehire them because they'd been playing stemming the ro stem the rose. Is that what he said? Stem Is that the rose? Stem the rose? <laughs> yeah. stem the rose. Well, I, okay, that's fine. Well, oh, Welsh dragon. So in Wales, 
in Timru chase the pic chasing the pickle is uh, a right. thoroughly heterosexual and manly activity. All right, all right, I'll take your word for it. I, as far as we celebrate Christmas, um, I, I, it's an interesting question. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did he say? I so it's a lot of sexual tension <laughs> between you two, uh, yeah. bubbling under uh, the surface. Yeah. It's not, it's not too far under the surface. It's really out there, like <laughs> pretty over. <laughs> it's pretty, 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 pretty over the top. But, but you, um, I don't celebrate. Christmas in my house. I was raised with a father who thought that was where you draw the line uh, as a Jew in the United States. You can celebrate Christmas at a friend's house, or at, at, we have some converts to Christianity in our family. You can celebrate it there, but you don't celebrate it in the house. You don't have a Christmas tree in the house, so and so forth. So I, 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 I can't do it in my house. I, I mean, even as a grown-up, I, I just... So you don't have a Christmas tree? We don't have a Christmas tree. I used to work on Christmas Day all the time. Hanukkah bush? No. no, you're married. Oh, what? <laughs> well, no, she, my mother-in-law has all of it. <laughs> the bush? The Hanukkah bush, Christmas tree. She has the whole, whole Megillah? They have, they have the whole Megillah. She's got the, the niece making, um, uh, like, little cookies that are in the shapes of, of both, like, pine trees and Jewish stars. So it's the whole Christmas thing. So there's a great commentary on this week's Torah portion by Rabbi Ari Khan. And Joey claims to have prepared and have some points, and we're going to get to those you know, right, right quick, um, just to, just to see if he's telling the truth. But uh, Rabbi Ari Khan sets the stage for this week's Torah portion. After a series of strategic negotiations and reversals of fortunes, the brothers of Yosef have procured food and are finally united and on their way home to their father. The performance of what they had first thought to be a simple task, buying food, turned out to be impossibly difficult resulted in threats, arrest, incarceration, what seemed at the outset as unimaginable horror. But this is all behind them. They are free, mission accomplished. Shimon is with them, Binyamin is with them. Once again they are united, they are whole. At least they think they are united. There is one more brother who is still unaccounted for. He is apparently not on their minds and soon the illusion of a peaceful trip home with all their trials and tribulations behind them will be shattered with a vengeance. So that sets the stage. Yeah, well, all the, and the illusion of, yes, well, that's certainly true, but that's not so much of a commentary as an observation. I mean, they're, they're, that's just a fact. They think that, okay, we're, we, we're in luck, Egypt still has uh, grain. Um, yeah, but they, they get down there and they find out they're kind of asked out. Uh, Welsh Dragon says, only kidding, guys, I'm sure you guys are alpha males, and he spells alpha. A L F A A. Yeah. A L F A. I like that one actually. I think I'm gonna go with the F. It's kinda like that's right, alpha with an F. Like yeah. Like uh like alfalfa sprouts. Or like Which are very gay. Alfalfa sprouts are totally gay. Um yes, thank you thank you. Thank you. Uh I was kind of There's water up there if you don't want to sip from my cup. Okay, thank you. Oh, look at those lovely uh Right. Well, so you had some points that you yes, one of the things that that I think leaps out at at us from from Miquette's is that we've definitely got Joseph's character develops in between our previous portion by Shev and Miquette's. He's uh, uh, and one of the commentaries I read said that first he's we've got a Joseph who's dreaming about grandeur and glory. He dreams of people bowing down to him. And after he screws up the first time, and his brothers punish him for his hubris, he just goes out and behaves the exact same way with, with Potiphar, Potiphar's wife. He's still into being handsome and how great he looks, and it gets him in trouble again. And only after the second time, when he gets then um, um, is sent to jail, then he, he kind of changes. He comes out, the dreams are no longer, it's no longer his dreams, it's no longer about his glory. He's looking at other people's dreams, and he's interpreting them kind of self selflessly, and he tells Pharaoh, I can't even interpret dreams. It's just God doing them. So, and then uh, I'll, I'll drive home the point in just a second, the discussion point. Then Philo, who was a great Jewish philosopher uh, just after the time of Jesus, said, said that a person who makes the same mistake three times is kind of useless. Uh, and so here, it's, he, makes, he makes the same mistake twice before he learns to to change the error of his ways and become more selfless. So, I, I thought that was interesting because I, f I have always been puzzled by the idea that you could learn 
something really important from one simple mistake. I, I've had to make the same mistake again and again and again before I've learned to change my ways.